everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today is update number six for Partners in Cream, where of course you take your non-powdered items and try to hit some goals on them. So we have a lot to talk about today because I have an empty and we've got some new stuff to roll in. And as you guys know, this tends to be a lot of my staple everyday kind of items. Not everything, but most of these items. And we're going to kick it off with, of course, this potted, uh, kind of like cream eyeshadow thingy majiggy. This is my Mary Kay Whipped Eye Color in the shade Tiki Hut. This does not really stay on the eyes. It could be just because it's really old. So instead, how I use this is if, you know, towards the end of like, getting into like the evening and you want to kind of touch up the eyeshadow, I just kind of reach for this one just to bring a little bit more color back to the eyelids. But then it's going to fade off in like an hour. So uh, that's how I use this one. You've seen where I was last month. And now I have gone to this point here. So we are definitely getting lower down on this. Um, I'm making quick progress, all things considered, on this. I have reached for this a total of 16 times since my last update, which brings me to a total of 55 times in the project. So that's really exciting. Again, it's just, I'm using it to use it, so it's not just getting thrown out, but it just really doesn't last. This primer was new as of last month. This is my NYX High Glass Face Primer. This is in the shade Moonbeam. It was a little bit used last time, not very much. Um, I can't shine a light through it, but I can squeeze it down to like here or so. So I've just kind of thrown a mark right there so you can actually see it. And that's just kind of where we're at. Uh, I am wearing this one today. So, yeah, I like my glowy base. The Empty, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is in one cool. Uh, last month, I was way down here at the bottom. And I was just kind of scraping out what I could, dumping out what I could. I did get an additional five uses, bring me to 115 uses in the project, which is from this point here. And I think I had about a month's worth of progress on this before rolling it into this project. Uh, this was not my favorite finish. I like my glowy, radiant, dewy finishes. This was not that. Um, it was a thicker coverage, but it was like thicker feeling, I guess I should say. Uh, but I did use it with a sponge. So it is done. It is out. I loved having something Charlotte Tilbury because, you know, it's, it's Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, but also new as of last month, and again, the progress is not going to be very exciting on this. This is my Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer. This is in this shade, a light ivory. This is more of like my winter shade. So it is a little bit light, but whatever. You use it for brightening. So I've reached for this one 25 times. And that's where I've gone to on this. And then also new as of last month was my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Peach Iced Tea. Uh, this I do use every night, I promise. I just don't use very much. So I've only worked it down here. So yes, this does look used now, but just that much. Really not a whole lot. I'm enjoying the scent. It's very summer appropriate, but it's going to be with me for a very, 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 very long time. Now, I did finish the foundation. So even though I do have a tinted moisturizer in Deck of Panning right now, and that one is my priority because it's like, it's even with being summer, it's still a little bit too deep for me. So I'm just trying to blast through that. So that's going to be my focus. But on days where I don't want that one. So like if I'm traveling or like that is, yeah, I want another foundation as an option. So this is the foundation I'm wearing for the first time today. It is a much better shade match for me compared to that L'Oreal Tinted Moisturizer. This is from Elizabeth Arden. This is their Flawless Finish skin caring foundation. So it's got like hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and E. Mine is in the shade 110 neutral. So this is the one I'm going to be playing with now. I've used it one time for today. 
looking so much better. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the other one's my priority. So I don't expect to get much use on this one at this point, but I'm glad to have this as something I can reach for. Now in terms of goals for next month, um, I don't think I'm going to have anything empty. I do think I'm going to be making fantabulous progress on the primer uh, because I think I've used at least a quarter, at least a quarter of this primer. So I think that's going to keep moving pretty well. But I think everything else is going to be slow but steady wins the race on them. So that is going to wrap up my sixth update for Partners in Cream. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.